Rowan Harry. When we first met, you were 15 and I was 17. The first time I looked into your eyes, they took my breath away. And they still do. We were on a bus full of the track and field team and within seconds, it felt like the world fell away and you and I were the only two people on that bus. I had texted my mom a photo of the track team and she promptly responded, wow, who's the hottie in the middle? <laughs> to which I said, mom, his name is Rowan and I'm going to marry him. From the moment we met Rowan, my heart was yours. I just want to stand up here and just share how proud I am of my sister. I am... Um, I'm a total puss cake, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's weird seeing my little baby sister marry such a child. I saw you pass me in your limousine First time we heard the name Rowan Hamilton, Chloe had just come home from Nationals, and she told us that she met the man she was going to marry. Then we found out he was 15. So not an impending marriage then. What followed was at least a year or more of trying to get Rowan's attention. Chloe, with the strategical genius of a chess grandmaster, hatched a plan. She told Rowan, because she graduated earlier, that she would be volunteering at the track meet so that she could see him. She wasn't volunteering, but she was moving around cones and raking long jump hits anyways. I've heard many people described as having a heart of gold, but Rowan, you are one of the very few to genuinely possess it. I'm crying about you, Rowan, not even my sister. <laughs> He doesn't dive in without knowing what the bottom looks like. So it's not surprising that there was a great deal of hand-wringing before he finally asked Chloe out on a date. The pros and cons were a source of constant debate. She lived in White Rock, he lived in Chilliwack, she was in university studying nursing, he was in high school working at Dairy Queen. <laughs> Chloe, I often tell you how much I love our story. It gives me a sense of pride whenever anyone asks how we met, because so much of it is innately us. I've never stopped thinking of you from the moment I first saw you. I didn't know it at the time, but it is so clear to me now that you're the only person I was ever supposed to love. When we met, I felt a comfort in you like no other. Every moment that we got to spend together felt eternal, but when it would end, I was reminded of the reality of our situation, that we would have to wait. Come the next year's track meets, I would feel so fortunate for every moment that we could spend together. But again, summer would come to an end and I would once again be without you. After you had departed, you had told me that there would be a day that we would get to be together. Once the wait was over, it felt like we had known each other forever. At first it was just your eyes that had captivated me, but the one I have grown to love is a man who is effortlessly kind, endlessly patient, strong-willed, gentle, and overflowing with joy all at the same time. In 1997, Adrian and I found out we were pregnant with our fourth. There was a small part of me that was hoping for a blue-eyed little girl. You see, I married a beautiful brown-eyed girl, already had three brown-eyed babies, and I wanted one to be just a little more like me. On that day, Chloe was born. I let out a quiet, oh. <laughs> when it looked like Chloe's eyes had a strong possibility of being brown. But today, I wouldn't trade those brown eyes for anything in the world. <laughs> it's Chloe. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, please enjoy the day. This is your day. You look absolutely beautiful. I'm so proud of you. Looking at you, I see so much more than the person I fell in love with. Chloe, you're not easily defined. You're a woman of such strong character. Coming to know you has been the greatest experience of my life. You are beautifully sensitive and empathetic. The one that pushes me forward when I don't know if I can do it anymore. A genuine belly laugh after a long day. A warm fire in winter and the fresh blooms of spring. Rowan, you are so easy to love. I know it may not always feel this way. Our love may experience pain, but also unspeakable joy. We will live through moments so beautiful that time may seem to halt, yet moments so hard it may feel hard to keep going. But what a gift it is to experience it all with you. I vow to love you with a love that seeks laughter, pursues patience, is quick to forgive, and spoken in grace. I vow to be here for you, always taking you as who you are and who you are yet to become. I vow to hold your heart next to mine until death do us part. I'm yours forever. You are my one true love. <laughs>